Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress. I'm here to do a reading for you and it's titled What is Wrong With Your Relationships? And this is based on the 8th of September 2019. Now we have the sun and we have the stork. Now the sun's from the Easy or Oracle decks from Maya White and the stork is from the Enchanted Lenormand. And the sun is about your true radiant self. Now as the earth orbits around the sun, it makes your sun sign the single most powerful influence on your personality and it positions in your birth chart and this reveals your traits and um, what makes you who you are today. Now the stalk is representing that you may be described as quite tall, long legs, you may be slim or you love progress in your relationships but you may need to work on this. So we'll go on to Mercury and we have the tree. So Mercury is a fast moving planet and this is influencing how you communicate with your partners with a romantic or just a general relationship. And we have the tree. So what it's telling me is you love personal communication with any partner, especially if this involves things from the past. Now this could be with past life connections or possibly a soulmate and knowing each other from a past life. Now we have Venus and we have the bouquet. So Venus reveals how you love within your intimate depths of your private life. And the bouquet is telling you that you love a blossoming, happy relationship. And this could describe someone with dark hair that is beautiful, that you give favorable attention to. Now we have Jupiter and we have the man. And Jupiter shapes your strongest beliefs and what makes you lucky in love. So maybe um, you are an interesting person and you show a masculine side to your energy and your behavior and that makes you lucky in love so whether male or female this is um, something that's strong that attracts people now Mars is unveiling your deepest desires and what truly makes you make sure our fire come to light and with the coffin this is about your deep passion so this is something that you're deeply passionate about that lights your fire you love that deep intimate connection we have Saturn and we have the garden and Saturn is here to teach you your greatest lessons so it shines a light on your deepest relationship challenges and your limitations that you must overcome so with the garden I feel like you must overcome playing the field now with Neptune and the bear so Neptune reveals your rose-colored glasses, what makes you weak at the knees here when it comes to love. And, and it is um, a partner that has strength and control and someone who takes control of the relationship that makes you weak at the knees. Now Pluto and the woman. Pluto is the, um, revealing what you need to do to take your love even deeper. So maybe you need to get into your heart more for Pluto and then we have Uranus and we have the cross and this is um, about discovering your unique attractions what makes you irresistible to partners and I feel like with the cross that you love you love the challenges here so I'm going to um, strongly put up here the theme of the reading so I'll pop that back now we've got we'll put the woman there we've got the stork we've got the bouquet and we've got the bear so what this is telling me is positive changes and improvements are coming for you around september this may be about you keeping the faith and uh, giving to charitable organizations here with the with the bear here that's about money and this could be to do with a woman who's very religious over here now there's more information here and we have the tree, the man, we have the crossing, and we have the garden. So this is telling me a man who is a healer or someone you have a past life connection with. Now, they could be your manager or supervisor or someone that works out on their body. Now, this could be you working out with people, a group of people, and maybe that you're working out in, a, in nature or the forest area. Now, the focus on this reading is the coffin and 
the coffin is about um, endings of cycles and um, definitely new beginnings that are promised. Now, I'm going to ask Spirit one question for you and you just have to let me tune in and bear with me for a moment, please. So what is just ahead, please, Spirit? What is just ahead for Libra? Thank you. I'm just getting the word travel here, Libra. So it looks like you're doing some traveling, uh, maybe with a group of people, and maybe it's to a spiritual place for you. Uh, could be to a forest area where you're going to have um, new beginnings starting, and it's about keeping the faith this month. A lot of blessings. Bye for now.